What is going on, guys? We're bringing you WWE 2K22. Now, that's not the full subject of this video. The full subject of this video is to basically compare the PlayStation 4 to the PlayStation 5. And I will tell you, and I'm going to be showing both of them in this same video. I'm not going to be, you know, doing two videos. It's going to be one. Now, I'm going to do this in two ways, okay? I'm going to show you a match, you know, and just part of a match, I'll say. Just part of a match. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a CPU match. Let's do... Let's do real WWE wrestlers for the sake of this video. We're not going to use any custom wrestlers. Okay, we're going to use the same wrestlers, the same arena, the same everything. And we're going to give you a side-by-side -side of, of uh, not side-by-side, -side, but we're going to give you a clip from each version. And you're going to tell me if you think it looks different. Because for me personally, if you do not have the PlayStation 5 and you have a PlayStation 4 and you play in WWE, 2K, in my opinion, you are not really missing much of anything at all. And I'm getting ready to show you, especially with customization. Now, I can download my created wrestlers from the PS4 and uh, I can upload them from PS4 and download them onto my PlayStation 5 and they look exactly the same. Like, there's nothing different. And now this... The wrestling matches are slightly different, okay? Slightly. Now, this is the PlayStation. Um, we're going to do Bobby Lashley versus Diesel. We're not going to look at the entrance. We're just going to play a match, part of a match, and then I'm going to bring you into the PlayStation 5 version. You know, in the middle of this match, it's going to switch over to PlayStation 5. We're going to play at main event 21 with no entrances on. And we're just going to go straight into the match. And then we're going to show you the created wrestlers and whatnot. Okay. Now, again, this is the PlayStation 4 version. Okay. This is PS4. And we're going to give you these same wrestlers on the PlayStation 5. We're going to skip it over to that. You know, like in the middle of this match. And don't worry, I'm not messing with you here we're gonna prove to you everything that we're saying you know but to me in this particular game you are not really missing much okay okay here we are this is playstation 4 bobby lashley versus diesel and we're gonna let you look at a little bit of this very quickly the almighty has proven that he is definitely in the hurt business and business is very, very good. I'm going to let you look at enough Tonight of it, not too much of it. Cool. It's not going to be a long Diesel, match. One of the most feared or we're not going to finish the match. I'm not, this is a CPU match sure. anyway. Is always a fierce contest. It's hard to overcome the obvious size and strength advantage Diesel possesses. Oh, oh. hip drop. Oh, piercing the stern. I'm going to go ahead and pause it for a second. As you can see, you can see the PlayStation 4 controller. That is, you know, that's how you know you're playing the PS4 version. But the next time I pause it, you're going to see a PS5 version controller. Okay? Right now, just take a look here. This is PlayStation 4. Now, when you look at this, it makes you wonder why WWE 2K20 looked at the way it looked. When you look at this. You know. Oh, Spine buster. Okay, now as you can see, you're on the PlayStation 5. As you can see, that PS5 controller. That's so, a accusation, Cole. The Almighty is on a mission and always ready to compete. However you choose to Do you really out, see a huge difference? There is a slight Tonight enhancement. I mean, you really have to pay attention to it. And to me, the enhancement is kind of like, it's, 
it's in the rustlers, it's in the textures, and it's in the audience, but it's very slight. I mean, I will go as far as saying that for this particular gameplay itself, the PlayStation 4 users are not really missing anything. I, I would take it that far. I was, I, I would, I would say that much. I would go that far with it. As we are doing the same match in the same arena, of course. I'm gonna let you look at a little bit of this. You can look at the video, you know, and then we're gonna talk about customizations because the reason why the cr you can do crossplay um upload and download which what i'm saying is like if i create a wrestler or an arena i can put it on you know i can upload it online and then download it on a different console because the the customization is identical there's nothing different it's the same thing graphically and texture it's all exactly the same. For Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Uh -oh. Okay, so now I'm going to exit this match. You guys have seen, you know, I'd like for them to get back in the ring. Okay, let them get back in the ring so you can look at a little bit more of that. Okay. Okay, I'm going to exit out. You guys seen that, right? Okay, now I'm going to go to create a wrestler. And then I'm actually going to switch over to the PlayStation 4. And then, you know, just so you can understand that it, it, it's the same thing. Now, I will tell you, the PlayStation 4, for me, is crashing more. It has crashed more. Lately, it hasn't. Okay, I'm going to start off with this character here. You know, I'm going to be this character, or I'm going to start with this character here, and then we are going to switch to the PlayStation 4, but we're going to be in this same exact spot. So here we are on PlayStation 5. Take a look here. This is PS5. Okay, now we're getting ready to switch to the PS4. Okay, now we're at this same exact place that we were at. But we're on PlayStation 4 now. And I am convinced that the customization, the textures, the graphics, every little thing on there is 100% identical. It's the same exact thing. That's what I believe. I mean, I'm talking about the background, every aspect of it. The difference is the loading is a little bit slightly longer for PS4. Again, you're not missing a lot if you don't have the PlayStation 5 version because this game was crashing a lot. The PS4 version was crash crashing a lot more. But for me lately, it seems like it's not like it used to. So I think a lot of that is fixed right now. Now, if this had been a month ago, I would say the PS4 version is just crashing way too much. Okay, I'm going to exit out of this. Remember, we're still in the PlayStation 4 version of this game. And, you know, that's basically what we are. And they have the same exact glitches, man. Or, or they have the same bugs, the same fixes. Like, I'm going to show you this fix that they just won't seem to fix no matter what it wasn't like this at release but it's like that now when you go to game i mean when you go to a match and you custom rules and you want to toggle rope break it doesn't switch from on to off i think it is actually switching but it doesn't say so you don't really know if rope break is on or off this was not like this when the game came out one of the one of the uh, patches caused this, and they just never fixed it. It's It's been quite a while. It was one of the earlier patches, like probably when the first uh, DLC came out or something. I think that's when this glitch happened. But, you know. Now, I'm going to show you this other difference, okay? It has to do with created rings, okay? We're going to do a custom ring. 
because the custom rings in this, some of them are glitchy, and the only glitch is the members of the audience that are up close, they're not moving. They're just kind of like just, and, and your, creative, your creative rings, your creative arenas load longer than the, the real wrestlers. I mean, the real arenas, these load longer. And if you use custom wrestlers and a custom arena, the loading is definitely way longer than if you use real wrestlers with a real arena. But the loading isn't that bad, not even on the PlayStation 4, not anymore. If the PS5 one loads, doesn't load as long, it's, it's very slight. It's not much. Okay. Out here as you can Clearly see, the action. audience ready in the front row, the front four, the I'd say the, big e can with the those, those four front rows, and of course, the literal power and strength they're not moving. Now, it's not like this in all e credit arenas. It has, e I think it has to do with like what arenas you use and how many and logos you use in your arena, because I have other custom arenas where this is not even, where that's not the case, but it's a different venue type. As you can see, they're barely moving. They're moving a little bit, but they're not moving much. But like I said, some of my, I mean, they're just barely even moving. And I don't think that's a bug. I think the, the it's, it, it does that for performance reasons. Like, you know, because it's the same version as the PS5, it's not quite strong enough to handle the performance. And I'm going to leave it at that. That's basically all, for the most part, that's really all you're missing. If you feel like I'm wrong about that, leave a comment, tell me. Because there's no extra features in the PS5 version that are not in the PS4 version. Some games have an extra feature in their PlayStation 5 version that they don't have in the PS4 version. Anyway, that's it for this video.